you crave a small SUV with super sports car style performance, then Audi thinks you'll like this RS Q3, offered in both standard and stylish sportback forms. This is the quickest you'll probably ever want to go in any kind of SUV, and there's an emotive soundtrack too. If you've outgrown hot hatches, don't need a huge amount of interior space, and want something very rapid that's a fashionable yet practical choice, then this RSUV might be just what you're looking for. The very first Audi SUV to get the brand's full sporting RS treatment was this one, the RS Q3. The original model was launched back in 2013 and started what is now a growing trend for high-performance compact SUVs. It featured then, and features now, the brand's classic 2.5-litre five-cylinder turbo petrol engine borrowed from the company's TT RS sports car. But whereas in the original RS Q3 that unit put out 340 PS, it now develops 400 PS. That extra power is needed to take on cars like the Turbo and GTS versions of Porsche's Macan, BMW's X3 M40i and the Mercedes-AMG GLA 45. Plus, potential buyers may also be looking at cars like the Volkswagen T-Roc R, the Cupra Attica and the BMW X2 M35i. To give the RS Q3 the widest possible appeal in this company, Audi is offering it with two body styles, this standard Q3 shape and the alternative sleeker RS Q3 Sportback variant. There's no doubt about it, this RS Q3 feels ballistically quick and is on paper too. A rest of 62 mile an hour sprint time of just four and a half seconds en route to as much as 174 miles an hour. That puts this car on a par with the far pricier Porsche Macan Turbo. And you can access quite a lot of this performance in all kinds of conditions thanks to this RS model's use of the latest version of Audi's Quattro four wheel drive system, which is mated to a seven speed dual clutch S-Tronic paddle shift auto transmission. This car's 2.5 litre, 400 PS, five cylinder turbo power plant has always been one of Audi's more charismatic units and has a wonderfully emotive roar as it zings up towards the 7,000 RPM red line. Sadly though, the addition of a petrol particulate filter means that you lose much of the exhaust pop and crackle on downshifts that you used to get with the previous generation version of this model. Even if you pay extra for a version with the Rortia switchable flap RS exhaust system. You get two customizable RS driving modes and a steering wheel button to swap between them. Uh, which alter throttle response, steering feel, and if they've been fitted, the settings of the adaptive dampers. Dynamic is the red mist option, but you'll find its settings too firm for everyday use. Audi claims that 85% of the engine's torque can be sent to the rear axle, which sounds like a recipe for fun. In fact, though, the drivetrain is primarily a front-driven system and feels like it when you hustle a car through the corners. This, and the fact that the precise, direct, progressive steering lacks that last nth degree of feel, mean that this car is more about meteoric point-to-point -point progress than driver engagement. The Q3's squat, slightly conservative styling gets a shot in the arm with this RS model. At the front, the car's RS jeans are apparent in the flat slits above this borderless single frame radiator grille, which has a three-dimensional gloss black honeycomb structure and is inset deeply into this RS bumper with its large side air inlets and striking boomerang shaped blades. Depending on version, the car features either LED headlights or, as in this case, matrix LED headlights with dynamic indicators and RS-specific darkened trims. 
In profile, you'll notice these pronounced wheel arches, which have been flared by 10 millimeters and shroud the huge 20-inch 10-spoke star alloy wheels that are exclusive to this variant. The even larger 21-inch rims we have here are optional. If you've specified the optional ceramic brakes, they'll be designated by these evocative red calipers. With its sloping coupe-like roofline, the RSQ3 Sportback sits lower than this RSQ3 and its rising shoulder line is set further down than in its sister car, lowering the body's uh, optical centre of gravity. At the rear, there are piercing LED tail lamps and you get an RS-specific bumper with a rear diffuser and horizontal blades that are usually finished in matte aluminium. We've got the optional black finish here. Many buyers will want the optional dual branch RS exhaust system on this test car, which has large oval tailpipes on both sides and chromed colored trims. If you've specified the optional black styling pack that we have in this case, the Audi rings will be finished in gloss black. Drop inside and you'll spot more RS accents. The RS Sport leather steering wheel flattened at the bottom includes bespoke shift paddles and multifunction buttons that allow the driver to control the two RS modes in the Audi Drive Select dynamic handling system. Through this wheel, you view the standard Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus instrument binnacle screen. This incorporates a shift light display that prompts the driver to upshift when the maximum engine speed is reached. And also special RS displays providing information on tyre pressure, torque, power output, lap times, G-forces and acceleration measurements. Elsewhere around the cabin, the centre stack, as with other Q3 variants, is trimmed in high gloss piano black and features this 10.1 inch MMI Navigation Plus central touchscreen. Likely buyers will also love these RS Sport seats which are embossed with the RS logo and feature quilted stitching. In the back, as usual with a compact SUV, the rear bench is comfortable for two adults but rather tight for the carriage of three. Still, it helps that it can slide fore and aft by up to 150 millimetres in this Q3 or by up to 130 millimetres in the alternative Q3 Sportback. Plus, the three-way split backrests can be tilted in seven stages. There's a fairly high centre transmission tunnel, but you get centre vents, uh, seat back nets and overhead reading lights, plus a centre armrest with pop-out cup holders. The luggage compartment holds 530 litres with either body style. You get these neat LED lights on the inner hatch, but there's no further space beneath the boot floor. If you push forward the 40-20-40 split rear bench, you get 1,525 litres of room with this RSQ3 standard body style, or 1,400 litres with the Sportback variant. From the launch of this model in late 2019, pricing kicked off from around £52,500. That's for this standard shape RSQ3. Audi expects over 60% of likely buyers though to want the alternative sleeker RSQ3 Sportback body shape, which costs £1,150 more. With either body style, there are two further trim options. Uh, using the base model as a price starting point, you can pay around £4,500 more for mid-range Sport Edition trim, or nearly £8,000 more for the top Vorsprung model. With base trim, standard equipment includes 20-inch, 10-spoke star alloy wheels, RS Sport suspension, an RS braking system with black calipers, uh, full LED headlamps, an RS body kit, uh, progressive steering, and an Audi Drive Select system featuring specific RS driving modes. Inside, there are Nappa leather trimmed embossed front RS Sport seats with heating and powered lumbar support plus a flat-bottomed RS steering wheel, stainless steel pedals, a frameless rear-view mirror, and various dash and door elements in black Alcantara. 
you get the Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus 12.3 inch instrument binnacle display and a 10.1 inch MMI Navigation Plus centre dash touchscreen with an Audi smartphone interface incorporating wireless Apple CarPlay connectivity. The Sport Edition models add larger 21-inch 5V-spoke polygon alloy wheels, matrix LED headlights, a black styling pack, a panoramic glass roof with black roof rails, and the Rortier RS Sport dual branch exhaust system. To that tally, the top Vorsprung version adds RS Sport Suspension Plus adaptive damping, a Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system, a 360-degree surround view camera setup, a smarter five-arm Trigon design for the 21-inch wheels, and some extra camera safety and semi-autonomous driving features. Across the range, key extras include RS Sport Suspension Plus adaptive damping, ceramic brakes, a carbon engine cover, and an option which raises top speed from 155 to 174 miles an hour. On the base model, you'll want the RS Sport dual branch exhaust system too. You won't be expecting this car to be cheap to run. It isn't. The best you'll do is with the standard RSQ3 variant, which manages 28.8 miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle, or 28.5 miles to the gallon in sportback form. Both variants return 202 grams per kilometer of any DC rated CO2. The larger 21-inch wheels of the Sport Edition variant reduce that showing to 28.0 miles to the gallon and 203 grams per kilometre with the standard body style, or 27.7 miles to the gallon and 204 grams per kilometre with an RS Q3 Sportback Audi Sport Edition variant. With the top RS Q3 Vorsprung version, the WLTP fuel figure for both body styles is 27.7 miles to the gallon, while the NEDC rated CO2 reading is 203 grams per kilometre for the standard body style, or 204 grams per kilometre for the Sportback version. Residual values should hold up very well. For a start, it's an Audi Q3, which has performed well on the used market, and most Audis with an RS badge tend to cling on to their value. Insurance is expensive, so make sure that you shop around as quotes vary widely. We'll finish by covering the warranty. Most cars in this class get three years of cover, but whereas rival brands BMW and Mercedes don't limit your mileage in this period, Audi rather meanly restricts you to 60,000 miles. Optional extra cost packages can extend the cover to either four or five years. The RSQ3 delivers charisma, attitude and excitement. Yes, you'll need to dig deep for the privilege, but given that many of its rivals can be specified to this price bracket while featuring less power, the money asked for the RSQ3 doesn't seem too excessive. A properly sporting compact SUV is the answer to a question few really ask, but once sampled, it's hard to resist. If you've 50,000 pounds or more to spend on this kind of car, this RSQ3 would certainly need to be high on your list, if only because it can deliver Porsche Macan turbo style performance for around 17,000 pounds less. It can't quite deliver Macan style drive dynamics, but for many likely buyers that won't matter too much. This is the fastest small Audi SUV there's ever been, and for many potential customers, that'll be all they need to know.